Well, good morning. Here we are. Wednesday, April 12th, 2023. I'm Larissa. It's time. The time has come. The time has come to drink from skulls. Oh my God, what's on? What's going on with my hair today? What is going on? It's like all over my head. Thank God. God, it's all over my head. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. So I got a comment on my reading of Mr. Salman Rushdie's uh, Haroon and the Sea of Stories. I did. Somebody thanked me and said they love it. It is a great book. It is. It's a great book. And they're fighting about all these explicit, sexually explicit books that they're making kids read in schools. Right? And parents are all up in arms over here in the United States. You should be reading Salman Rushdie. It's a great book. That is. That book's, that book's great. I'd, I'd say it, that probably reads like a... <clears throat> I don't know say, 8th to 10th grade level. I mean, it's an, it's very enjoyable by adult, for adults as well, but I'm, I'm saying, like, the, the level of, of comprehension that's needed. You know? Yeah. I wonder how Mr. How Mr. Rushdie's doing. How you doing, Mr. Rushdie? How are you? How, how are you? How are you adapting to the reality of your body now? That's terrible. How you doing, Mr. Rushdie? I hope you're comfortable. I do. I hope you're comfortable. I hope you're comfortable and get to have whatever delicious food you want to have. And I hope you get... I hope you get tender, gentle massage and... I hope you have wonderful cups of tea. That's what I wish for you, sir. All over your art. Oh, it's heartbreaking. What a shame. Shame on them. Shame on those. Shame on those who are so frightened by the, by the intellect of an individual. Shame on them. Shame on them, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so, so buttons on your underwear. Oh no, no more sewing buttons for me for a while. Oh my gosh, all the buttons on that jacket. All the buttons on that jacket. Oh my gosh. I think that's part of why I am all jacked up in my back. Oh, it's those buttons. It's buttons and those little plastic, creepy plastic babies. I drilled holes in all those little creepy plastic babies. I did. Tiny little drill bit. Drilled tiny little holes in those tiny little plastic babies. And then I stitched them on like buttons. So, <clears throat> originally... Like I, I drilled holes in 17 babies of, of each, of each complexion. I cannot use 17 of each. I, but I, I chose that number because, you know, 18 is of age of consent, right? It's adult. Oh, some states say 16 is age of consent. I just think it's terrible. If you can't really, shouldn't consent be 21? Con the age of age of consent should be 21 when when you're allowed to do everything right I may argue that 18 should be should be the the, the drinking the legal drinking age if, 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 if you can be sent off to war right you should be allowed to have a goddamn beer if you want that's how I feel right It's all ridiculous. It's all ridiculous. 
anyway, so that's why I had, cho I had, but I didn't end up using 17 of each. And there's more than 17 babies on that cross, so. Babies on the cross. Women. All the dead women. Miss Charlize Theron. Where are you at? I saw Cider House Rules. I saw that in the theater. Should be showing that. Should be showing that film. Right? Anyway. Oh, Brody's a dirt bag. He is. He's so dirty. He's all dirty. You touch him, your hands feel gross. He needs a bath. He's got all kinds of stuff in his fluff and, and junk in his trunk. He's all dirty. Dirty, dirty dog. He needs a bath. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough to wash him. No. He's too strong for me, right? I could probably wash an adult. Not all dogs are hard to wash, right? When I was growing up, I had dogs that used to get in the shower with me, right? One dog, I had to be careful, make sure I closed the bathroom door because she would come in and just get in the shower, be like, wash me, give her a bath every damn day. She loved it. She was a, a birder, though, right? Bird dog. And they loved the water. The light in the studio at the gallery is not good for video. It's not. It's weird. Yeah. The the bulbs are a funny color and they cast weird shadows. But whatever. 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 I wish it was full spectrum light, but it's not. The bulbs are kind of a they're kind of a warm gold. It's golden light. Ah. Oh, Mr. Rusty. I was thinking about maybe writing again. I don't know. I've been talking about wanting to write some more poetry. <clears throat> but I think maybe I got another book in me. Maybe I do. Maybe I got another novel. Maybe I got another novel. Put a darker henna rinse on my hair the other day. So it's darker. No, my hair is more naturally kind of a more auburny red brick color. Red brick color. No, this is darker. I put, I use a product called Surya Brazil. And it's a, it's an, it's an herbal, it's an herbal product. Um, and it has, it, it utilizes henna. It's a henna cream. Anyway, this is, was supposed to be black. It's not really black, black, right? And it's not, it's not a permanent color, right? It's not a permanent dye. It, it washes out and fades. So, and it's gentle, you know, I don't get crazy rashes or sores in my mouth. Yeah. If I use, if I use like the feria and all that stuff now, it makes my scalp itch and, it, and, and within 24 hours I get sores inside my mouth. So I don't use those products. I know. Craziness. Did a hair show once and they used. Schwarzkopf. It was their product. Oh my God. The inside of my mouth was like raw. The whole inside of my mouth. It was awful. It was awful. And it took like a week and a half to go away. It was from that product. I went home that night after they, after they did that, they put, it was black and a red color. And I knew, I knew as soon as they put the red on because like my face started to burn. Right. <clears throat> and then that evening, my whole mouth was inflamed. 
was glad it was just inside my mouth and not over my face. Oh my God. So yeah, I either use traditional henna powder that you mix with, you mix with coffee or just hot water and olive oil or the Surya Brazil paste. Yep. They sell Surya Brazil. At, they usually have a couple colors at Whole Foods. They, they, they make a, a, a range of color, right? And it's not an opaque color. Like you can't cover up. It, it's, it's, it really is. It's, it's more, it's more like, it's more like a rinse. Um, so it, it's, it, there's, it's not, it's not, doesn't work the same way, but it covers my grays. It does. If that's what you're doing. The, and the henna, the henna is, is, uh, naturally conditioning. Yeah. Makes my hair feel nice. It does. Whole Foods and generally like organic stores, stores that specialize in organic stuff, health food stores. Or you can order it online. Yeah. It's like 16 to $18 for a bottle application. My hair this length, I, I need two bottle applications. So I said I was going to sleep without a pillow last night, but I forgot. I slept with the pillow. I think I need to try it. I need to try it without the pillow because it's like when you're laying on the massage table, you know, no pillow. No. I'm going to try that. Better spinal alignment. I don't need to be having my head pushed forward. I need to have better spinal alignment when I'm sleeping. Like when you're laying on the, on the yoga mat for Shavasana. Yeah, yesterday, yesterday, so, not yesterday, but the night before, I made a pot of kitchery after, after my massage, and kitchery, it's an Ayurvedic, it's an Ayurvedic, um, remedy, food remedy, right, and, oh my gosh, it helps, it helps clean, clean out your, clean out your colon after, after you have like organ release, right? It, it, it attaches to stuff. Um, and it has to do with the, with the herbs and spices and the other ingredients that are in it and the way they're combined and the things that aren't in it. Like it specifically does not have garlic, right? It specifically does not have garlic and it doesn't have milk fat solids. You have to use ghee to make it. Um, and, and the herbs or the spices need to be, need to be toasted first right? To bring out the essential oils that are in them. Anyway, I figured out what the inflammation was from. And it, it what, uh, I mean, I have, I have chronic pain, but there was, there was inflammation and cause my joints were all swollen and everything. And there's this product, um, there's this fake chicken product that I had at lunch that day, right? And when I eat that product, I don't, I don't know what it is that they, it's the, uh, ultimate chicken, ultimate chicken, uh, and it's by Gardein. They, they taste good and it's the best. It's, it's like the most, uh, convincing chicken substitute, right? But I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it makes me totally inflamed. And the Beyond, uh, not, not the Beyond, the Impossible Burger, I can't eat that either. That makes me, it, it, what that, what that, that fake chicken product and that, um, and the Impossible Burger product, they taste good, right? But, um, they make my body respond in the same way as when I eat meat. So I think they're both, that they may, the, the, the Impossible Burger is heme derived, from fungus, right? It's, it's developed from, from the heme 
using the heme from fungus. Yeah, I think I have something. I think I'm heme intolerant. I think that's what the issue is. I think that's what the issue is because it makes me sick in the same way. When I eat meat, my body does the same thing. It hurts so damn bad. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was, I was, when I sweat, I smell like the product and it's gross. Like yesterday I did, I, I was able to get through a full round of yoga practice, my practice. I was able to get through the, through the full cycle of asanas. I wasn't able to, um, hold all the asanas for as long as I normally do, but I was able to get through the whole cycle, which is, which was good because I've been, I've had physical restriction, but I was able to get through the whole cycle and I worked up a bit of a sweat. Um, when you're, when you're practicing asana, if you are engaging the banda and, and doing all the internal work, cause it's, it, it's, it's more than just sitting in a pose, right? Like there's, there's a lot of internal work that goes with it. And so if you're, if you're truly engaged in the practice, you can't, you do raise core heat. And it's not the same thing as doing cardio or whatever, but it, you, you do raise your core heat if you're do, if you're practicing, if you're, tr if you're practicing, um, properly, right? Well, I sweat, I started sweating and I just, I was like, oh my gosh, it smells like those, those ultimate chicken nuggets cooking in the, in the toaster oven. I'm talking about my, my body's weird reaction to that product. So yeah, they taste good. And if your body tolerates them, more power to you. But mm. does something weird to my body. That's for damn sure. It makes me want to like write a letter to the company, right? Because I, I don't, you know, I'm not saying that I, I necessarily think that they're bad for, for, for people. I think, I don't know. If, I don't know that. I know that my body has a strange reaction to them. And I wonder if other people have, and if, or if they've heard that, or if they've heard that from other people. Yeah, it was bad. It was really, really bad. Yeah, but the kitchen helped clean it out. Yeah. So thank you to the lovely lady who worked on me the other day. Yeah. Tea House Spa. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it was very helpful. Very, very helpful. Well, I'm not saying that I don't still have issue. I'm saying that that was acute and that was why. Um, yeah, amazing. Amazing. So... I got my to-do list at the gallery today. It'll be open to the public today. Hmm? Yeah, be open to the public today. So, anyway. Anyway. Mr. Salman Rushdie, you're in my thoughts, sir. I hope somebody makes you a really nice meal and you have a really nice cup of tea and get yourself a nice massage. Anyway. <laughs>